earlier this week, I promised that we as a Camp Timberly would put together a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And our hope was that we would start this series talking about what would have been our theme for this summer. Our theme for summer 2020 was image. And our goal was to spend the entire summer talking about what it meant to be made in God's image. Our theme verse for the summer would have been from Colossians 3.10, which says this, Put on the new self, which is being renewed in the knowledge and the image of its creator. Let me say that again. It's, again, it's the NIV Colossians 3.10. It says we're to put on a new self, which is being renewed in knowledge, in the image of its creator. And so as I, I got to camp, I was hired in April, and I was just uh, praying through this theme. What are we going to do with this theme? Where are we going to go this summer? And, and I worked with a couple people. We talked through this. What do we want this to look like this summer for camp? What do we want campers to get this summer from God? So we, we looked at this verse and broke it into a couple different chunks. We thought that first part, what does it mean for us to put on a new self? And, and what about the old self that we're getting rid of? What does it mean for us to be renewed in knowledge? What role does our minds play? We wanted to unpack that a little bit. And what does it mean for us to be made in the image of our creator? So again, we started to wrestle through that and pray with that and say, okay, God, where are you taking us this summer? And I spoke to some of the speakers and we had this idea of, okay, here's what we want to do this summer. We want to walk through this verse basically backwards. And we hone in on the idea, what does it mean for us to be made in the image of our creator? Well, in order to, to really understand, in order to really get our, our minds around that, we had to understand who our creator is. So the goal for Monday was to just unpack that in a deep and profound way. We came up with this idea that, that all day Monday, all we would talk about is the greatness and the glory and the splendor of who God is, who this creator is. So our theme verse, our, our verse of the day for Monday was Psalm 145.3, which says this, Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. I love that. That's, that's Psalm 145.3. Great is the Lord. He is, most he is most worthy of praise, and no one can measure his greatness. So all day Monday, that's what we wanted the kids to hear, that's what we wanted them to experience, was that, that this God out there, this creator, is just incredible and worthy and awesome and spectacular and holy and majestic. And what we're going to get to on Tuesday, what we get to for, for our person on Friday, is, is that we get to be made in his image. But in order for us to do that, we have to know who he is and what better place in Timberley, what better place than this amazing campground to see the way that God has created in incredible ways, whether it's the birds or the trees or the lake or just spectacular diversity in people. Just God is incredible. He's incredibly creative. He's incredibly loving and kind and compassionate. He is this amazing person. So our, our heart for this summer was that every kid who came to camp would spend all day Monday, one, one whole day, just focusing on the greatness and the glory and the splendor of God. So I challenge you at home, even though we can't be here, you can't see God in, in the beauty of this, these grounds this summer. May you find ways to see his beauty elsewhere. May you look at how amazingly creative our God is. May you understand that God has a purpose and a plan. He did this all with intentionality. God is great. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. May you know that deep down that there is a God out there who loves you, who cares about you, who is incredibly creative and made you with a purpose. Please check back in with us on Friday to talk about what that means for us, for, for us to be made in his image. If if God is splendid, if God is glorious, if God is majestic, if God is holy, if God is incredible, and we're supposed to reflect his image, what does it look like for us and how do we do that? And that's what we're going to get to on Friday. So check back in with us next uh, in a couple days. Uh, we love you, we miss you, and, and, and we want you to know the truth that you and I, we were made in the image of God. And that was our hope this summer. We're trying to nail that through uh, here this through these videos. We hope you get a chance to understand and see that. Know that we care about it. We love you. Check back again too. Thanks.